A lot of times when people think of ADHD, typically think about kids, but now more adults are suffering from the disorder. It can really put a strain on a marriage or other relationships at home and at work. Clinical psychologist Dr. Robert Reynolds is here. He's going to provide some practical advice to all couples that are dealing with this in their marriage and also some uh, ways to pick up on the symptoms, right, doctor? Have you? Well, exactly right, because we're so often think about ADHD as a childhood problem. Yeah. But there are many, many adults who are beginning to recognize that they had problems when they were young and are still having problems. Mm -hmm. Typically, organization is a, is a, is a, a bell ringer for adults with ADHD. They have a typical uh, tough time getting themselves organized. Right. But when it comes to relationships, relationships, they oftentimes really struggle because they're not really paying attention. Mm -hmm. uh, and if and you don't know what it is, you can be chalked up to something else, like being lazy or selfish. That's what a lot of the spouses might think, Exactly, right? or they don't care. Uh -huh. and so a lot of tension builds up in relationships because of this misunderstanding. You have an approach, with, you deal with thousands of patients, and you have something that's called skills before pills. Can you tell me about that? Yes, well, all too often, the only thing that a person is offered once they're diagnosed with ADHD is medication. Okay. The vast majority of people with ADHD, whether they're adults or children, can be treated just as effectively, even more so, by teaching them the skills that they need to manage their lives. Mm -hmm. So that once they've learned that, then they can take that with them for the rest of their lives. Some of the symptoms that you mentioned, you know, the warning signs that they're edgy, short tempered, pro procrastination, easily distracted, chronically late, or even unaffectionate. And that could also lead to major problems in a marriage if you don't get it diagnosed and don't have the, the spouse go in and, and, you know, figure out if you need to have have it treated, right? Yes, and that's very important for people to look at those signs because if you begin to pick up on them, you might begin to realize that what the, your spouse is dealing with is a neurophysiological brain-based problem, not something that has some, anything to do with motivation or a lack of caring. So what's the first thing that you should do? Let's say that you do suspect maybe that your spouse might be suffering from ADHD. It's a regular doctor? Do you send them straight to the like clinical psychologist? How do you know where to start with something <laughs> well, like this? Well, exactly right, and, and this, is a, this is a problem because oftentimes when people present with these kind of problems and they're talking about being depressed, anxious, their lives aren't working out, and maybe they talk to their family doctor. And right. if the family doctor is not trained in recognizing this, then unfortunately people don't get diagnosed in a timely fashion and this problem goes on and on and on. Right. It's the fortunate ones actually that end up in psychologists' offices because we are the ones who are best trained to understand, recognize, and help deal with those issues. Well, it's good to have you here to at least bring the issue to the forefront. At least people can start doing a little more research and get treated earlier. Thank you for being here, Thank Doctor. You. If you guys want to get more information on adult ADHD and some other tips on how you can help save your marriage if you're in that situation, you can go to our website, bettertv.com, click on the link. We'll have more info there.